Hi, in this video we will be talking about real numbers. Now, real numbers essentially come as a set, set of numbers. So, first of all we need to try and understand what exactly do we mean by the word set. Now, the set of real numbers is just a collection of real numbers. So, set is a collection of things. A set of real numbers is a collection of real numbers and the numbers in that set would be called the elements of that set. Okay, A set of numbers may be defined by simply listing the numbers in it. So, you know, if I make a set like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth, that's a set. If I write a set like, uh, you know, a, B, C, D, that's a set. Now, this is not a real number set, right? This is definitely a set of real numbers. In fact, it will add on more numbers. Real number is the vastest pool of numbers till date, what we know. Now, the set may be defined by specifying a membership rule against which any number can be tested in order to determine whether it belongs to that set or not. Now, what do I mean by saying this? Uh, I can define a set of all numbers greater than or equal to 2. Okay? So, if I say that 1 belongs to this set, this set say S, this would be wrong, right? Because 1 is not greater than or equal to 2. So, 1 does not belong to this set. Now, another property is that if M is a set, all of whose elements are contained in another set, Q, okay, so something which is there, something which is there. I will be talking about the notations very soon in a, another video. Here, this means that X belongs to M. Now, what we are trying to say is that uh, if all the elements in M also belong to Q, that means that M is a subset of Q and this is the symbol for subset. This is the symbol for subset. This sign is for equality. This sign is for equality and this means a proper subset. It is not equal but smaller. A set which contains no element or is empty, a set which does not contain anything, okay, is called phi, phi, okay. This is a null set, phi or a null set because it does not contain any element and we will soon see why we require phi at times, okay. So that is about sets. Now about numbers. Now, what all kind of numbers do we have? We have natural numbers. Now, natural numbers are numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4. So, numbers starting with 1, right? This is a set of natural numbers and it is denoted as this. There is a double line out here, if you can see it properly. There is a double line out here, which actually designates it to be a set okay so it's not just a capital n but it also means uh, it, it's a set so the notation is different then you have integers now integers are what integers are also negative numbers now in natural numbers we were not putting in negative numbers right it was starting with zero now in the set of integers we 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 put zero as well as minus 1, minus 2 and so on. So, the integers consist of natural numbers together with the numbers 0, minus 1, minus 2 and so on and so forth. So, the negative numbers also and we call this set Z with again a double line out here. Now, then comes rational numbers. Rational numbers mean any fraction P by Q, right? So, rational numbers any number that can be expressed as a quotient of 2 is a rational number and of course q does not have to be equal to 0 and this is known as q the set is known as q 
So, when we are talking about rational numbers, there is a concept about irrational numbers also. Every real number that is not rational is called irrational. Mind you, your numbers 1, 2, 3, all these numbers are rational numbers. Why? Because they all have a denominator 1. Okay. Now, real numbers are composed of the set of all rational numbers together with irrational numbers. Okay. So, irrational number set is said to be complement of rational. So, R consists of everything. In nutshell, what is the set R? In nutshell, if you realize your natural numbers are contained in integers which are contained in rational numbers which is contained in real numbers. So, that is what this these circles denote. Now, this is n, this whole thing is z. So, this remaining portion is z minus n, this whole thing is q and this whole thing is z. So, this remaining portion is q minus z, this whole thing is r because r is the biggest circle. This whole thing is R and this is Q. So, you take Q out of R, you get this remaining disk. Okay? So, that is about real numbers.